Welcome to another Atlantis Rail instructional video. Today we will be installing a series of MicroStar LED light bars to accent a Nova 2 rail section. MicroStar LED light bars come in a variety of sizes ranging from 42 inches to 18. A key component to the MicroStar LED lighting system is the MicroStar transformer. Transforms come in two options. First we have a one amp option which is connected to the wiring by two terminals in the back. We also have a 5 amp option. The 5 amp transformer has a screw connection. Many of the wiring extensions come standard with the screw connectors, making installation easy. There are cable jumpers and longer lengths of extensions from 60 inch all the way up to 300 inch. MicroStar LED light bars are equipped with a protective clear cover, features a flexible LED lighting strip which fits into the mounting channel. The mounting channel features mounting holes pre-drilled. Small Phillips head screws are used to fasten the mounting channel to the underside of the top rail. First, measure and mark the hole location in the side of the post where you'll run your wiring from the transformer to the first connection point. Pre-drill the hole with using a quarter inch drill bit. Finish drilling this hole by using a 9 16 inch drill bit. Run the end of your wiring connection through this hole from inside the post. Slide the grommet over the cable end and install into the hole for a clean look while protecting the cable from fraying. Measure and mark the location of the mounting channel for the first LED light bar. Drill the mounting holes on the underside of the rail using a 3 32nd inch drill bit. Using a small Phillips head screwdriver, fasten the screws being careful not to strip the screw heads. Secure all screws until the channel is fully mounted to the underside of the top rail. Install the flexible light strip. Connect the wiring coming out of the post to the end of the LED light wiring. Make sure to tuck excess wiring into the post. Install the post cap. Repeat the process of mounting the LED light bar on the other side of the rail section. Once the LED light strip is installed into the mounting channel, you can proceed with installing the protective film. To connect the two ends of the MicroStar LED light bars, we will use a 12 inch wiring jumper. To install the jumper, mark hole locations and proceed with the quarter inch drill bit. To finish the holes, use a 9 16 inch drill bit. Snake the 12 inch jumper from one hole to the other. We wound up using a strand from the handy swage cable. Once the jumper cable is installed, make connections. Don't forget to slide the rubber grommet over the cable end before securing the cable ends together using the screw connector. Once the connection is made, tuck the excess wiring into the top rail and install the rubber grommet.
Repeat the process of making the wiring connection by sliding the rubber grommet over the end of the cable, making the screw connection, and tucking the excess into the top rail once again. In a typical railing system scenario, the wiring would continue through the post. The connections would be made once again with a 12 inch jumper. The same process of drilling a 9 16 inch hole would be repeated. In this scenario, we're going to dead end the wiring inside the post by once again drilling a 9 16 inch hole using the grommet and tucking the wiring inside where you don't see it. Measure and mark the location of the hole in the side of the post. Using a quarter inch drill bit, drill through the post. Finish this hole off with the 9 16 inch drill bit. Slide the grommet over the cable end and tuck the cable inside the hole. Install the grommet into the hole. We recommend testing the installation as you go by connecting the wire to the transformer and plugging the transformer into a power source. The system should turn on. Don't forget to remove the protective film over the lens of the LED light bars. You should do this once your cable is fully installed. This will complete your installation. For detailed instructions and system specifications, please visit www.atlantisrail.com.